As crafters, we want to be able to work with our own customized designs. But a lot of us are super busy with life in general. So we often have to compromise and use what's available to us through sites like my absolute favorite creative fabrica this video is about coming to a compromise where you have a pre-made design and you customize it to be exactly what you want in no time at all it's relatively simple and it is a huge time saver as long as you know what you're doing so let's get to it we're going to start by bringing in the file go to file then down to merge I'm using this ghost glass can. I'll be using the SVG so I can double click on that. And it does bring it down onto the mat. I'm not sure why it's down there. Let's snag all of the pieces and move them up onto our mat. Now all of the different layers are grouped together, which is fine if we're just going to cut it out as is. But I want to remove these three middle ghosts and put my name in here. Let's right click on the white layer. Typically we would just be able to ungroup these, but it looks like they've made a compound path out of the entire layer. So let's click off of that for just a second and bring this down to the bottom. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but we're going to right click and this time we're going to release the compound path. And I brought it down to the bottom so that all of these pieces would not be on top of these pieces because it would make all of these very hard to select. We want to click off of this and that's going to get rid of all of that mess for us. And I want to delete this ghost, this one, and this one. But as you could see, there were many pieces in there. So I'm going to draw a selection box around it, right click and delete. And I'm going to repeat that for each one of these. Now I can select all of the pieces that are left, right click and make a compound path. And this is put back to exactly the way it was when we started, except for the three in the middle are missing. Let's do the same for the black layer. Pull that down, right click, release the compound path. This time there are not a million pieces, so we can just hold down our shift key, select each one, right click, and delete. Now at this point you can either make a compound path with this again, or you can group them. I'm just going to stick with making a compound path. The last thing we need to do is remove the three middle tongues. So let's right click, release a compound path, select the three in the middle, right click and delete, select all of the rest of them, right click and make a compound path. We do not need to remove any of the flowers, so we can just start setting our stuff back in place. If you're having a hard time getting it adjusted properly, you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard. That looks pretty good. Now let's set the tongues back in place. And now we can add in a name or Happy Halloween, whatever you'd like. I'm going with my name for this one. Type out your text, click off of it, and then back on so that you can change the font. Open up the textile panel. I'm going with the Barbie font. But when we zoom in on this, you can see that these letters are pretty close together and it just doesn't overlap properly. So I'm going to increase the character spacing by three and that does separate the B, but it doesn't have a good connection with the R anyway. So I'm going to leave it just like this, right click and weld, right click and group. I do want to switch the color over to white, then I can bring it over, rotate it just a bit with this green button at the top and set it in place. Now I also want to create a black offset so that it matches the ghosts. Let's go to the offset panel, click on offset, and I think that's a little bit thick. Let's bring it down just a touch and click apply. I want the offset in black. We can select the text and the offset and scale it up just a little bit, I think, and get it set in place. Now, in order to group our name with the rest of the layers, we're going to open up our select by color panel and head over to by fill. We can select the white layer, right click and group, select the black layer. And you'll notice that I did end up with two different blacks. So I can hold down my shift key and select the other black, right click and group. 
Now to save a little bit of space on my first mat and to save a little bit of vinyl, I am going to right click, release the compound path on the little tongues and I'm just going to set them up within the first one inch square on the grid and I will place these onto the glass separately. Now we can set the yellow up in here, set the purple down at the bottom. We can cut all of this out at once, then come back after that's done, put the white layer and the black layer on and cut that out. Over in the sun panel, we want to switch over to vinyl mat. I like to use a blade depth of two when I'm cutting vinyl. We can load our media and then click on send.